Yo what's up guys this is Aprix here today in this video I'll be showing you guys how to set up and download a brand new 3ds simulator for android and no this is not the modded version of citra emulator this is the lemurad 3ds simulator it's finally here guys I'll be showing you guys how to set up the emulator also talk about minimum requirements etc so be sure to watch the full video if you guys are new here then smash that like button subscribe turn on all notification because I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest emulation news with that being said let's get started throughout today's video and let me know if I should make more face cam videos all right let's begin so let's begin with our today's tutorial first of all what you have to do is just go ahead and open play store and yes this 3d simulator is officially available on play store so you just have to open the search box and search for our lemurad emulator now if you know then lemurad is an open source simulator which is capable of emulating various consoles which i'll show you guys later on but as you can see it has 4.2 star review so this is really amazing emulator now if you just go ahead and open about this game option then here you can see the supported system option. Here you can see supported system so it can emulate all of this system including Nintendo, Super Nintendo, GBA and much more even DS, 3DS etc. And PlayStation emulation is also present so it's packed with features and the great part about this is it's only of 14 MB, it's open source, it has zero ads and also free to download. So what you have to do is just go ahead and click on install and install it directly from the play store itself. Now if this video reaches 200 likes, I'll show you guys Lemurad emulator best settings and configuration to play 3ds games. And I'm just a single guy, I don't own many devices. So what I want you guys to do is just go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you guys face any issues with this Lemurad emulator. But once we open this emulator, you can see it will ask you to select ROM directory, which means that you'll have to choose the folder where you have stored your Nintendo 3DS games. But if we just go ahead and go to settings, go to directory, we just have to choose a folder where we have stored our .3ds game file. Like as you can see, it's right here. We'll just go ahead and click on use this folder and allow. And it will uh, take some time, about five to six minutes, uh, if your device is really low end. It will uh, usually take about one to two minutes and afterwards it will refresh it. Now once that has been done, if we just go ahead and scroll down, there are advanced settings like you can even increase the resolution, rumble, you can set the catch limit too. So if you guys have good device, just select it to 4.1 GB. I don't know uh, what the catch uh, file limit does or whatever. But as you can see, if we just go to the home section, you can literally see Pokemon X right there. So we can just go ahead and click on this uh, systems option, you'll see Nintendo 3DS beta. So Nintendo 3DS was released recently for Lemuroid uh, and if you just go ahead and click on it, you'll see all the games, uh, 3DS games which you have loaded. Uh, for example, if you have multiple games like Pokemon X, Pokemon Y, uh, Sun and Moon, Omega Ruby, so all of that will be loaded in the systems in Nintendo 3DS emulation. So let's just go ahead and click on home and let's take a look at the uh, 3DS emulation on Lemuroid emulator. Again, as I told you guys before, this emulator is available on Play Store and honestly has to be one of the best open source emulators. But I do believe that I do believe uh, the 3DS emulation bit of uh, Lemuroid might be forked from Citra. So I guess it will have similar performance to Citra and compatibility as well. Now minimum requirements wise, let me start off by saying that you can play it even if you have like Android 6.0. So if we just go to, go to the Lemuroid emulator, you can see the minimum requirements. It's Android 6.0 and up, which means that no matter if you have an old device, you'll still be able to emulate uh, you will be still you'll still be able to uh, install the Lemuroid unlike Citra 3ds where you actually need like Android 8.0 or above which is really cool now you will surely need OpenGL ES 3.2 uh, if you want to uh, emulate 3ds games in Citra emulator but let's just go ahead and click on English and let's click on begin game now let me show you guys how to access secret settings in Lemuroid emulator so here this button right here you just have to hold it and it will open a bunch of settings which you can uh, change like it even has fast forward guys we didn't see fast forward even in citra emulator but it's present in lemuride which is really amazing feature and this is honestly best setting which you can enable but more about uh, best settings in my best settings video uh, if i show you guys all the best settings i'll run out of content so please like the video let's hit 250 likes but anyways let me go to the res resolution scaling we can select all the way up to 10x resolution which is insane more than 4k i guess but i'll just go ahead and select 2x resolution or 4x let's see 4x okay uh, after that i'll just go ahead and go back let's go back again and as you can see pokemon x has started so i'll just go ahead and click on the a button again and we'll check out the fps 
and you can see that it's flawless guys uh, the cutscene is flawless it's running at 60 fps so let me just go ahead and choose all the characters and i'll be back so here we go guys our game is about to begin and we have entered the kalos region now here is the moment of truth 4x simulation 4x 3d simulation will it work uh, will there be graphical issues and bro this is literally running at 60 fps guys and i do know that i have a flagship device uh, so the device which i am using right here is iq7 legend the snapdragon 888 processor but still bro getting 60 fps is not that easy that also at 4x resolution which is really impre impress you because uh, it, it's not 30 fps because the character is running too fast for 30 fps i believe uh, but there is no fps counter sadly in this uh, lemuroid emulator uh, if I had to guess, I would say that I am getting about 30 to 60 FPS. But if there is a 30 FPS cap, as in all Nintendo games, then I am only getting 30 FPS. But we won't be able to find that out because there is no FPS meter option added uh, uh, till now. But anyways, let's just go down. And as you can see, it will work flawlessly, guys. 4x freaking resolution, 4x resolution. I cannot believe, and it's running smoothly without even uh, giving any slight texture issues. I guess it's mainly because of my Snapdragon processor. So let me know in the comment section down below if you have a MediaTek processor, Exynos. I want you guys to install this simulator, test it out, and comment down below if it works really good for you guys or not. If it doesn't work great, then I'll test it on my low-end devices and we'll find out how to fix those issues. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share for more videos. Goodbye. I'll see you guys tomorrow.